Welcome back to another ULEARN tutorial. Using layers in InDesign is today's topic. What is a layer? Layers allow you to move, edit, hide, lock, and work with content on one layer without affecting content on another layer. Not only that, layers are a great way to organize content. That's why layers are useful in any document. To succeed, you must create layers correctly. When you make pizza, would you put sauce on top of the cheese? No, you wouldn't. In InDesign, it's always a good idea to create and name your layers and place similar elements on the same layer to keep things organized. For example, when we make a document in InDesign, I create five layers. Master or parent pages, vector graphics, raster graphics, text, and grid. Let's create a new document if you haven't already. File, New, Document. Or Command N for the Mac or Control N for a PC. It doesn't matter what size of the file we use, it will work either way. Letter size is what I'm going to choose. We can tackle bleeds and slugs at a later date. I will click on create at the bottom right hand corner of the page. Okay, we should see a blank page. Each new document you create starts with a single layer named layer one. If you don't see the layers panel at the side, you can go to the main menu, windows, and scroll down until you see layers. Now, we can create and manage our layers. Click on layers and the layers panel should open. But first, let's talk about the layers panel and what we can do with it. I will create a simple box to show you a simple thing. In the layers panel, I have an eye icon. We can turn the eye or visibly off and you won't see anything such as a box. Besides the eye is an empty checkbox. Click on this and a lock will appear. This locks the layer. Nothing can be added or moved until I click to unlock it and the lock just disappears. On the document, click in a blank arrow to deselect the box. To select the rectangle, use the selection tool, the black arrow. There is a drop down arrow beside layers one's name. The contents of this layer will be displayed here. The pen icon indicates the current layer. The color square is a selected item. To rename a layer, double click the layer's name in the layers panel. Type in the new name and click OK. I will rename this layer to Master Page. You can change the color of the layer or you can show, lock, print the layers, or show or lock guide. Master Pages can contain text and graphic elements, and they will appear on all pages, such as page numbers, headers, and footers. There are several ways to create a new layer. One, to create a new layer, click the Create New Layer Plus button at the bottom of the layers panel. Two, in the drop down hamburger menu, select a new layer. Three, select a layer, right click and select new layer. Now let's take a few seconds to practice what we have learned so far and create new layers and rename them. We want to place our content and artwork on the respective layers. Let's create these five layers, master page or parent pages. Master pages are great for adding page numbers and footers and headers. And if you wanted this to be on every page, these are where you want to put it. Vector graph. Think of anything that's to do with Illustrator files, such as EPS or SVG. It could be like a logo, but as long as a logo is a vector graphic, this is where it should be. Raster graph. Think of anything that has to do with Photoshop, images, pictures, or photo. Text. Well, text is your content of your document. And grid or guide is where you can set up a layout system. Think of it of a network of lines that cross each other to form a series of squares or rectangles. This is great for organization. Great job, everyone. Let's say we want to duplicate a layer. Select the layer, right click, and select duplicate layer. Two, in the drop down hamburger menu, select duplicate layer. Three, drag a layer onto the create new layer plus button at the bottom of the layers panel too. This last one can be tricky as you can delete the layer by mistake. Okay, let's delete a layer. It is very similar to creating a new or duplicating a layer. One, select the layer, right click and select delete layer. Two, select a layer in the drop down hamburger menu, select delete layer. Three, select a layer and drag it to the trash can in the layers panel to delete a layer. Four, select a layer and click on the trash can in the layers panel to delete a layer. How about moving or arranging layers? Select a layer, 
and drag it down. And when you see a line appear below the layer, release the mouse to reorder the layer in the document. This file will be below that layer. If you want a layer to be on top of another layer, select a layer and drag it up. And when you see a line appear above the layer, release the mouse to reorder the layer in the document. Most importantly, the order of the layers in the layers panel determines the order of the content of the document. For example, top layer is on top of all the other content, and the bottommost layer content is behind all the other content in the document. Just remember, layers make layouts easier to organize. You can turn on off related objects on the same layer for viewing, printing, and working on your layout by arranging them together. This makes things easier when you're working. Of course, you can have multiple vector layers or text layers if you had to. It truly does depend on how complicated or the complexity of your layout is. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.